Let's begin with an overview of the respiratory system. This image depicts the major components of the respiratory system. The nasal cavity, where inspired air enters the body, the larynx, the trachea or windpipe, and the lungs. The respiratory system's function is gas exchange, including oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide release in the lungs. The respiratory cycle of breathing brings gas into the lungs during inspiration, oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged, and then carbon dioxide is blown off during expiration. The respiratory system is divided into the two primary areas, the upper respiratory tract, which includes the nasal cavity and the pharynx, and the lower respiratory tract, from the trachea to the lungs. The upper respiratory tract is primarily a conducting passageway for air to reach the lungs. Air travels through the following structures. The nasal cavity, which warms and humidifies the air. The pharynx, which is a passageway for both air and food. The lower respiratory tract is made up of the following structures. The larynx, which is the site of voice production. The trachea or windpipe. The bronchi, which deliver air to the lungs. And the lungs. The lungs contain alveoli, which are tiny sac-like structures, inside of which gas exchange takes place. The structure of the nose and nasal cavities. Superior to the nasal cavity is the frontal sinus. The nasal cavity has three major conchas. The nasal concha, which is the most superior one, the middle nasal concha, and the inferior nasal concha. At the posterior end of the nasal cavity is the nasal pharynx. The respiratory system performs many functions in the body in addition to oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange, such as, number one, the sense of smell or olfaction. This begins in the nasal cavity and it occurs when airborne molecules enter the nasal cavity and bind to olfactory neurons. Number two, voice production. This occurs primarily in the larynx or voice box. Within the voice box is a set of cartilage located at the front of the throat which contains the vocal folds. The opening and closing of the vocal folds as air passes through produces sound of different quality. Number three, the lungs are involved in immunity. They protect us from microorganisms through the actions of cilia, mucus production and the so-called mucus elevator, the coughing reflex, and the presence of immune cells. The respiratory system also plays a role in acid-base balance in the body. The normal range for blood pH is between 7.35 and 7.45. Due to the fact that carbon dioxide is an acid and can affect blood pH levels, the lungs play a role in maintaining this normal acid-base balance. Because the lungs can alter carbon dioxide levels, they're involved in maintaining blood pH within the normal range. The respiratory system's primary function is gas exchange. This includes oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide release in the lungs. The respiratory cycle of breathing brings gas into the lungs during inspiration, where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged, and then carbon dioxide is blown off during expiration. The following is a clinical note on cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is an inherited lung disease that affects 1 in 3,000, and in the United States there are approximately 2,000 babies born with this disease each year. This very serious disease causes chronic bacterial infections in the lungs, as well as lung and heart failure. The disease is caused by a faulty transmembrane transport protein. And this is known as the Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator, or the CFTR. This is abundant in exocrine cells in the lungs. And in patients with this disease, it fails to transport salts and water effectively. This leads to the buildup of a thick, dense mucus in the lungs. The diagnosis of cystic fibrosis can be made with newborn testing, a sweat test, or genetic testing. And the treatment for patients with this disease is management of the respiratory infections, the use of mechanical devices, and inhaled medications to thin out the mucus. 
Transplantation and ongoing gene therapies are being investigated in this disease. 